Good morning. Welcome to Monday Morning Yoga. Let's get started. Finding a space on your mat. Taking a nice, wide, comfortable stance, maybe a little wider than shoulder widths. And let's begin with some breathing. Exhaling down. Gather earth energy, inhaling up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. One more. Exhale down. Inhale up. Catch it at the top. Stretch tall, tall, tall. And then folding forward. Hang. Take a nice deep breath. Let a, a, a big sigh on the out breath. Oh, two more. Oh. Oh. Bending deeply into those knees, start to roll up, stacking the vertebra, head and neck last to come up and roll those shoulders back. Nice, alternating. Alternating forward. And then together. And then inhale, squeeze the shoulders up. Hold them, hold them, hold them. Big exhale, sigh, let them drop. Oh, good, again, inhale. Hold, hold, hold. Exhale, let them go. Oh. One more time. Oh. Good, bringing chin to chest. Feel the stretch down the back of your neck. Just notice how far down the spine you feel that. And then we're gonna circle the head, inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down, reverse it, one more, perfect, bring that head up, roll the shoulders back one more time, big inhale, sweep the arms up, hands come together above the head, and then we Sweep them down through heart center, stopping to touch our third eye point, our forehead, stopping to touch our lips, and stopping at our heart center. Close the eyes. Take a moment to set your intention for today, your sun kalpa. What is it you want or need out of this experience? Oh. Perfect. We're going to start with some tapping. Tapping all over your head, gentle tapping like raindrops. Tapping your forehead, your cheeks, the front of your throat. Let your head fall back. Open up that throat center, that throat chakra, stretching your platysma muscles. And then bring head back and tapping the back of your neck. We're going to take a soft fist over trapezius. Tap, tap, tap. Go up your neck if that feels like there's some tension there you need to reduce and let go of. Good. Over to the other side. Tap, tap, tap. Perfect. We're going to use the open palm to go down the inside of the arm, up the outside of the arm. Three times. And then we're going to go open palm across the chest. Use your fingertips to tap right on that sternum, activating our thymus gland. 
across and then inside of the arm, outside of the arm. Tap, tap, tap. Just pat, pat, pat. Good. Back to the chest. Now we're gonna do the abdomen in the direction of peristalsis, which is up the right side, across the top, down the left. Then we're gonna use soft fists over our kidneys. Tonify and wake up our kidneys. And then back to open palms, go over the glutes, down the side of the leg, all the way to the foot, up the inside of the leg. So down the outside, up the inside. We'll do that three times. Then we're gonna go down the back of the leg, tap on the top of the foot, come up the front of the leg. Once again, down the back of the leg, Tap on the top of the foot, up the front of the leg. One more time. Perfect. Come back to the abdomen. Tap right over stomach and liver, maybe even soft fist here. Then rub your palms together. Close your eyes. Feel your body. Notice if there's any place of your body that has some discomfort, some pain, some stress, some tension. And rub your palms together and then place your hands over that area. If you're not sure, right hand on heart, left hand on navel. If you have any other places that just need some balancing, some healing energy, let that energy permeate. And then reversing the polarity on your hands, draw out anything that no longer serves you, doesn't need to be there, pain, discomfort, stress, tension, worry, and shake it off. Open your eyes again, let it go, give it back to the earth. And then we're gonna bring our feet so that they're really shoulder width, about two fists width apart. And we're gonna move into some of our psychocal warm ups. So reaching to the side, Crouch down, reach to the other side, crouch down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more each side. Perfect. Now clasp the hands together, integration breath. Inhale, reaching up. Let your elbows bend and hands clench behind your head. And then exhale down. Good, two more of those. Perfect. <clears throat> Next is windmill. We're gonna bounce up and down in the legs gently. Let the arms just swing. We're going to wind up our arms with a big inhale to a count of eight. And then we're going to unwind our arms with a big exhale, count of eight. Ready? One, two, three. Inhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Swing the arms. Good. Again, inhale. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Swing. We're going to do that one more time. One set. Left. Here we go. Inhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Integration breath. Two more. Last one. Next is picking grapes. We're gonna sweep the arms down and then inhale. Two, 
three, four, and then reach all the way down to your foot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold the breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last set. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale down. Perfect. Inhale. Integration breaths. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and come down onto the mat. So have, have a seat. And we're going to move into breath of fire. We're going to expand our arms out about 60 degrees, curl the fingers in, extend the thumbs. Imagine an arc of light between your thumbs over the top of your head. Breathing in and out all through the nose. Breath of fire is pumping the abdominals rapidly. And the breath just moves quickly, almost like it's one breath, but in and out through the nose. Tongue can gently rest on the roof of the mouth behind the front teeth. And your drishti, your focus, can be on your third eye point or on your nose with your eyes about three quarters of the way closed. Go ahead and begin. Keep going. Deep inhale. Draw the thumbs to touch above your head. Hold the breath in. Open the palms, draw that breath and that energy from your sit bones, from your perineum, all the way up the spine to the crown of the head. And then exhaling, slowly sweep your arms down, feel the expanse of your aura, your Wei Chi, that protective Chi that we've just cultivated through breath and movement. When your hands reach the earth, just let them rest there, feel your connection to Mother Earth. Close the eyes, feel the body for a moment. Then placing your hands on your shin, go ahead and flex the spine, inhale, exhale. Focus is on the lower spine. Inhale, draw the chest forward, pull, use the leverage on your chin, and then exhale, round the spine, pull, 
the head forward, pull the spine back. And then coming to center, place hands on the knees. We're going to circle the upper body over the lower body, a Sufi grind. Inhaling back, exhaling forward. Reverse direction. Perfect. Come back to center. Sweep the arms up. Big inhale. And then right hand comes to the earth. Left hand reaches over. Keep both sit bones completely connected to the earth. Reach long. Good. Breathe. If you want to accentuate this stretch, you can turn your palm up and gaze upward. You feel that a little more deeply between the intercostal muscles, between the ribs. Good. Hold here. Breathe. Reach both arms up to center, reach tall, and then let the left hand come to the earth and right hand reaches up and over. Again, if you want to accentuate this stretch, turn the palm up and gaze upward. Come back to center, both arms reach tall, tall, tall again. This time we're gonna go into a spinal twist. So take left hand to right knee, right hand comes behind you, right behind your sacrum. In fact, push it into the earth to bring your spine a little straighter. Take a deep inhale and then exhale, start to turn and gaze over your back shoulder. Use the hand on the knee for leverage. Hold here in this gentle spinal twist. Remember with all our movements, all our postures, you're listening to your body, honoring it right where it is today in this moment. Being mindful that you don't go into any position that causes pain or discomfort, unless it's a kind of delicious discomfort that feels so good. That's a great place to be. If you're in pain, though, you've gone too far. Back off a little bit. As you hold each of our poses and our stretches and our movements, any discomfort should be replaced with pleasantness as the body melts and forms into that pose. Two more breaths here. Slowly unwind, sweep those arms back up, reaching tall, tall, tall. Now right hand to left knee, left hand behind the sacrum, push into the earth, bring your spine straighter. And then starting to gaze over your back shoulder, turn the spine gently. Again, you're using the hand that's against the knee for leverage going only as far as is comfortable for your body for this moment for today. Continuing to breathe easily, gently, using the breath to help facilitate relaxation of the muscles.
One more deep breath here, gaze a little further, and then exhale, unwind slowly, sweep the arms up, big inhale, and exhale, fold forward, reaching forward. As you're holding here, Notice which of your legs is in front. Then I want you to walk your hands back to a seated position. Sweep the arms up once again, and now switch the legs so the opposite legs in front. Big inhale, exhale, forward fold once again. Just starting to introduce some Stretch into our gluteal muscles, our low back with this stretch. We switch the legs so that we are even, feeling it in each hip. Once again, walk those hands up. And now we're going to come into a child's pose. So knees are as wide as the edge of the mat, toes are touching. Sit the sit bones back towards the heels. Extend the arms forward. Forehead rests on the mat. We'll take three deep side breaths here. Oh. Oh. One more. Oh. Then going back to our Easy, gentle breath, the ujjayi breath, all in and out through the nose. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling slowly. You can gently pull the breath across the throat, <clears throat> making a little bit of an oceanic sound. But most important, keep that breath slow, meditative, relaxed. If at any time through the rest of our practice, your breath gets a little breathless, then you want to slow down, perhaps come back into this child's pose and rest for a moment. Let the breathing ease and then come back and join us. One more breath here, coming up to tabletop. Now bring your knees so they're stacked just underneath your hips. Bring your hands so they're stacked just underneath your shoulders. We'll move through some cat-cows here. We already started warming up the spine with our spinal flex earlier. Focused on the low back, we're going to move through spinal flex for the mid-back and upper back as well. But we can never go wrong with keeping our spine supple and flexible. So moving through some cat cows, perhaps stretching the toes during cow. Good, one more each direction. And stepping forward with your right leg, coming into a low lunge. Let the pelvis drop towards the mat. Hands framing that front foot or wide. Feeling the pressure from your sacrum down towards the mat and forward slightly. This way you're going to stretch the iliopsoas muscle, which you probably will feel mostly around the groin. But iliopsoas starts along the lumbar spine, the side of that the transverse processes of the lumbar spine, runs through our pelvis and attaches to our femur, our thigh bone, attaches on the medial side, our medial aspect, should be your inner thigh at the very top of that bone. You may feel the stretch anywhere along that path.
Now, keeping your chest against your thighs, start to sit your sit bones back. Lift the toes, coming into a half split. Let your head reach towards your no knee, nose towards knee. Feeling the stretch in the back of the thigh, possibly in the back of the knee, possibly in the calf as you bend those toes back towards your head. If this is too difficult to reach, you might try using some blocks here. Blocks are your friend. They bring the earth to you. Now, as we move back into that low lunge, we're going to walk our foot out to the edge of our mat, and we're going to come into a deeper runner's lunge here. So walk your hands out and down a little bit and see if you can melt a little more deeply into this. Remember using that breath to facilitate relaxation of the muscles. Go ahead and press yourself back up. Come back into our tabletop. One cat cow, just to kind of recenter yourself, and then stepping forward with the left foot coming into that low lunge. When we step forward, we want the knee stacked right above the ankle there. If the knee is forward of the ankle, it does put a bit of tension or strain on the knee. We want to avoid that because we're really focused on stretching iliopsoas. So if you're not feeling the stretch, the thing to do rather than bring your knee forward is to slide your back leg back a little bit that's going to help deepen that stretch for you again if you need to um, deepen it you can turn the toes in the back foot out towards the side a little bit just that tiny little adjustment can deepen the stretch a bit for you breathe And now keeping the chest against the thigh, start to sit back, bring those toes up. If you can wrap your hand around the foot, great. If not, blocks are a good choice. Forehead coming towards the knee. Feeling the stretch in the whole back line of the lower limb, your thigh, your knee, your calf. Release that foot and walk it out to the edge of the mat. Then walk your hands towards the opposite edge of the mat and lower down, if you can, to your forearms. Again, a block here might be helpful if you're not feeling like you can comfortably move into this pose. So coming all the way down for a deeper runner's lunge. The iliopsoas muscle is a deep muscle of our posture. And really, when we're walking or running, movement should be initiated from the lower spine, from this muscle. Go ahead and bring yourself up. Come back into that <clears throat> tabletop. One cat cow. We're going to walk our hands forward and come down for a cobra series. So walk your hands back by your rib cage. Lift them off the earth for the first two. 
We're going to inhale, lift our head and neck into Cobra Pose, Bhujangasana. And come back down. Good. And again, lift. And lower. Now this time, go ahead and leave your hands on the earth. Once you've come up as far as you came up before, go ahead and use the hands to come up a little higher, keeping the elbows close by the body. And then exhale down. Good. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. We're going to hold this one. Come up as high as you comfortably can. Shoulders relaxed down. Glutes relaxed. Gaze forward or slightly upward. And release down. Perfect. We're going to push back into a child's pose. Three deep sigh breaths here. <sighs> Perfect. Now I'm going to invite you to come up onto your knees. Now, if this is not comfortable for your knees, if you put a block or a pillow behind you and sit on that, that may make it more comfortable. Hands are going to rest on our thighs, and we're going to do that spinal flex again. This time focuses on the mid-back. So inhale, exhale. Inhale forward. Reach the chest forward. Exhale round and use your hands on your knees. Good. If you can stay here, we're going to do one more movement. If you need to sit comfortably and change your seating, go ahead and do so. We're going to bring our hands to our shoulders, elbows out to the side. We're going to inhale left, exhale right. Stop in the middle, big inhale, lift the shoulders. Exhale, lower back to even. And we're gonna do the opposite. So inhale right, exhale left. Inhale, exhale, good. Go ahead and ease up out of that bent knee posture and come back into an easy seated pose. Good. We're going to hold our hands on our knees. Really, you can bring them kind of forward of your knees so that your arm is locked straight, elbow locked here. And once again, we're going to do spinal flex this time the focus is going to be on the upper back and even the neck a little bit. So inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale round, 
and coming back to central neutral. We're gonna take our hands into what's called a bear grip. We're gonna curl our fingers and hook our hands. So left hand's in front, right hand's facing it. We're gonna bring our hands right in front of heart center. Then we're gonna do another rhythmic movement. This time, elbows are gonna lift and lower in opposite directions. I call this propeller arms. So inhale, exhale. Stop in the middle, pull the hands apart, creating a dynamic tension like an isometric stretch. Hold, hold, hold. This movement and this pose is really helpful for opening up the space between the shoulder blades where many people hold a lot of tension. So I want you to notice left hand is in front, release the pressure and tension and switch the hands. So still bare grip, but now right hand's in front, left hand's facing it. Once again, we're gonna do this rhythmic movement. We'll start with the opposite side. So inhale, right side lifts, exhale, left side lifts. Stop in the middle, isometric stretch, pull, pull, pull. Exhale, release, shake the hands out, shake the whole arms out, shake it all out. Beautiful, and let your hands just rest on your thighs for a moment. Let's close the eyes, feel the body, notice how these movements have affected your physiology. Perfect. We're gonna come back to hands and knees. We're gonna walk our knees back a little bit. Hands are a little bit forward. So we're kind of at an angle and we're gonna do a few push-ups. So 10 push-ups here. Exhale down, inhale up. Perfect. Release into child's pose. Take a rest moment. Big sigh. Good. Let's do 10 more. Come back up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Release back into child's pose. Another sigh moment. One more set of those push-ups, if you can. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Release back into that child's pose. Take a breath. Good job. Coming all the way up, up into our tabletop. Curl the toes under. We're going to lift up into downward facing dog. Go ahead and walk your heels out a little bit. Get a stretch in those calves, alternating one foot then the other. Spread the palms nice and wide. Then come up on the ball of the foot and slowly lower down. Bend into the knees. Lift the sacrum up a little higher.
Big inhale, exhale, gaze forward, walk your feet behind your hands. Bend those knees as deeply as you need to. Release the hands to the elbow creases and come into our ragdoll pose hanging here. You might gently shake out your head or sway side to side. And then come to stillness in the center. Take a deep breath, let out a sigh. <sighs> Release the hands back towards the earth. Start to straighten the legs just a little bit. You want to walk your hands so that they're behind your ankles. So you can gently pull your body forward slightly. Start to straighten legs just to that point where you feel the sensation of the stretch. Don't overdo it. No pain. And release that. Bend the knees slightly again. And we're going to sweep our arms up as we rise. And then hands come down through center. Touch forehead. Touch lips. Touch heart center. We're going to move through some sun salutations. So take this at your pace if it feels like I'm going too fast or too quickly, but we're going to go pretty slowly. So feet are shoulder width stance. Sweep the arms up, big inhale. Exhale, swan dive down, bend into those knees, forward fold. Hold here for a moment, take a breath. Bring hands to the shins and flatten the back out, extending the crown forward and the tailbone back. Create some length in that spine. Folding forward once again, forward fold. Walk those hands forward lightly and then step back into plank pose, high push-up position. Knees are straight, arms are straight, heels are reaching back at the same time, crown of the head reaching forward. You want to pull your hands and your toes towards one another, but they don't move. That just creates some dynamic tension. Pull the belly button up towards your spine. Now let the knees drop down, chest drops down, hips are lifted, chin drops down. Then let the pelvis drop, release the toes, and coming up into a cobra pose or into upward facing dog, you can lift the knees off the earth. Let the knees drop once again. So we're moving through tabletop on our way up to downward facing dog curl those toes lift that tailbone up and coming back to down dog hold here take three slow deep breaths oh. 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 Now gazing forward, walk those feet back behind the hands. Forward fold. Slide the hands to the shins, halfway lift, flat back. Falling back into forward fold, reaching behind the legs, drawing the chin towards the knees. Bend into the knees as we sweep the arms up. Big inhale. And hands back through center. Pause for a moment.
So that's sun salutation A. We're going to run through that one more time. Sweep the arms up, big inhale. Swan dive down, exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Walk those hands forward slightly. Step the legs back. Plank pose, high push-up position. Knees drop, chest drops, chin drops, pelvis drops, toes uncurl. Upward facing dog. Knees drop, move through tabletop on your way to downward facing dog, curling those toes, lifting the sacrum up. You need to walk your feet or hands in just slightly. Go ahead and do so. Gazing forward, walk those feet forward behind the hands. And now I'm going to invite you to heel toe the feet so that heels and toes are touching. Halfway lift, flat back. Forward fold. Sweep the arms up. And hands through heart center. Good. From here, we're going to move into sun salutation B. Bring the hands down by the sides. Mountain pose. Feel your grounding. Feel your centeredness. Sweep the arms up and clasp the hands above the head. Extend the forefingers, elbows hugging the ears. Shifting to the side, lean to the right, push the hip to the left. Gently pull on the top hand with the bottom hand. Rise back up to center. And over to the other side, lean to the left, push the hip to the right. Come back to center, open the arms like cactus arms and lean back, pulling the shoulder blades towards one another, opening the heart center, opening the chest. Let it shine towards the heavens. Come back to center, arms lift, staying like goal posts. We're going to bend into those knees, push the knees and feet together, coming into a chair pose. Switching to chair plane, we're going to sweep the arms back and we're going to Come forward onto the balls of the feet. So lift the heels. Now roll back onto the heels. Weight in the heels as you come back into chair pose. And then release into a forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Coming down, place the hands down, walk the feet back, plank pose, high push up position. Lower knees. 
all the way down, upward facing dog. Moving through tabletop back to downward facing dog. Lifting your left leg up, three-legged dog. Pull the knee in towards the nose, knee to nose. Reach back, three-legged dog. And then sweep that left leg through towards your hands. <clears throat> We're going to come into warrior one. So I want you to lower the heel and turn the toes of the back foot to the diagonal and then sweep the arms up warrior one good hold here and then we're going to turn these this foot and bring it in so walk it parallel coming into warrior two now so this was a closed hip posture. This is now an open hip posture. Your arch is in alignment with your heel. So if you need to adjust the feet a little bit, go ahead and do so. Sweep the arms up and extend the arms in opposite directions, gazing over your middle finger. Turn the palm up and we're going to exalt the warrior. Shifting back, slide that hand down the leg, or if you want to bring it around the body into a bind or a half bind, go ahead and do so. Come back to center. Now we're going to shift forward, place the forearm on the thigh into extended side angle pose, circle that arm around a few times, and then reach it over the head. Feeling stretch along the side body again. Rising back up into our warrior two position. Straighten this leg. You might want to shorten the stance slightly. We're going to move into triangle pose. Reach forward and then just tick tuck the arms. Gaze down at your foot. And then if you feel your balance is supreme, gaze up at your thumb. If your balance is challenged, continue gazing down at your foot. Come back up. Now we're going to turn those left toes so they parallel the right might want to widen your stance a little bit. We're going to slide our hands along our legs down towards our feet, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Weight is in the ball of the foot. So roll that weight forward slightly. And if you feel like you want to deepen the stretch, you can gently pull on your ankle or the outside side of your foot. Bring your head a little closer to the earth. Bring your fists right under your shoulders. Push up into a halfway lift, flat back. And then walk your hands back towards the left foot, coming into a low lunge. And we'll step back into plank pose, high push-up position. Hold here for a moment. And you can follow me through. Chin, <clears throat> knees, chest, chin, upward facing dog. To downward facing dog or go straight into downward facing dog, whatever feels like right for your body. We're going to lift the right leg up, three-legged dog. We're going to curl that knee in towards our nose. And then lift it back up. And then slide it forward into a low lunge position. 
lower the heel of that back foot and turn the toes to the diagonal and rise up into our warrior one pose. Knee stack right over the ankle. Hold here for a moment. And we're going to reposition that foot. Take a step so that the arch is aligned with the heel of the front foot. Widen if you need to into warrior two. Turn the palm up and sweep that arm up, exalting the warrior. Hand slides down the leg, feeling the stretch along the side body. Or if you want to wrap your hand around into a half bind, you can. Be mindful that that front knee is not bending inward. Keep it stacked right above. Coming back into our warrior two position, straighten that front leg, shorten the stance a little bit if you need to, reach forward, and then we're going to tick-tock the arms, triangle pose. Gazing down at the foot or up at the thumb. Coming back up, bend into that knee, forearm on thigh, circle that arm around a few times into extended side angle pose. Coming back up, we're gonna parallel the feet. This time we're going to clasp the hands behind the back, pull them down, gaze upward, and then forward fold, wide-legged forward fold, and lift the arms up off the back as far as is comfortable. Head reaching towards the earth. Release the hands, fists right underneath the shoulders. Push up into a halfway lift, flat back. Walk the hands to the right foot, coming back into our low lunge. And then step back, plank pose, high push-up position. Knees, chest, chin, upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Once again, lift that left leg up and then sweep it through for half pigeon. So knee, left knee to left wrist, right foot to right wrist. Slide that back leg back and start to walk yourself down. You can stack your fist, rest your head on your stack fist, or if you have a block, rest your head on the block. Be feeling this in the deep lateral rotators of the hip. Breathe. As you hold the pose for a little while, the breath facilitates relaxation. You may find you want to follow it deeper.
pushing up and releasing that leg. Shake it out a little bit. Come back into downward facing dog and lift that right leg up and sweep it through for half pigeon on the other side. Sliding the back leg back, sitting up tall and then lowering down, stacking the fists. Pushing yourself up again. This time, sit on your hip. Bring the soles of the feet to touch. Draw them in towards the body. Clasp your hands around the toes and lift the knees up towards the shoulders. And then lower them down with your elbows, leaning forward just till that point where you feel the stretch in the inner thigh. Stretching our adductor muscles. Slowly rising up. Go ahead and extend the legs out straight in front of you. Move any flesh from your sit bones. Pushing those sit bones into the earth as you reach at all, tall, tall. Bring the toes up so they're pointed back towards your head. And then leaning forward, take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toe if you can reach that far. And then draw the elbows out slightly into this forward fold. Rising up, we're going to roll onto our backs and bring our feet to face the sky. Coming into a happy baby pose, grab the outside edges of your feet. Bring your thumb to rest on liver three point between the big toe and the second toe. Pulling the knees towards the earth and pushing the feet towards the sky, creating a dynamic tension. See if you can. Get your whole spine flat on the earth here. And of course, the biggest, most important aspect of this pose is the happy part. It's a happy baby, so get a big smile on your face. If you want to gently rock side to side a little bit, like a playful baby. You can massage the spine this way. Big breath, let it out with a sigh. <sighs> if you've been in movement, find stillness. And then release the feet, hug the knees into the chest. Release the legs slowly down. Turn the palms towards the sky, arms relaxed at your sides. 
we're gonna rock our toes in and out a couple times and then just let them fall out gently take a big breath let out a big sigh oh just melt into the mat let everything go relax thank yourself for showing up thank yourself for moving through let your breath just take on whatever pace it needs gentle easy comfortable Deepening the breath, opening the eyes. Go ahead and wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Circle your wrists and circle your ankles. Reverse directions. Rub your palms together, rub the soles of your feet together. And hug that left knee into the chest. Take a deep breath. Release that leg back to the earth. Hug the right knee into the chest. Take a deep breath. Release that leg back to the earth. Hug both knees into the chest. Let both knees fall to the right as you gaze to the left. Gentle spinal twist. Come back to center, hug the knees in, and then let both knees fall to the left as you gaze to the right. Come back to center, hugging the knees behind, the, the hands behind the knees. We're going to rock on the length of the spine, massaging the whole paravertebral muscles on either side of the spine. Rock three, four times, and then rock yourself up into a seated position. Keep the arms up, big inhale. Hands through heart center. Hold here. Once again, thank yourself for showing up. Thank yourself for moving through. I thank you. The light and love and divinity in me bows to and honors the light and love and divinity in each one of you. When we're in the space, we are one. Namaste. Let's end our practice with the sound Om and an act of self recollection. Big inhale. Om. Let the hands come to rest facing up on the knees. Just feel your body. Notice how you feel after this practice. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste.